Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster works with Shelly and Jackson. <laughs> Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story maker. I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Would you like to make some stories too? What was that, Jelly? You'll have to speak up. I can't hear you. I said I'm ready, Webster. Uh, OK, here goes. Late at night, when everyone's asleep, from behind the rows and rows of books, a fairy peeps. Hello. If you listen very carefully, you'll hear the flutter of her tiny wings. She's coming to make stories about magical things. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Webster. Thank you. And thank you. Oh, Webster, I loved it. I loved it. Can we do it again? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Uh, OK, then, Jenny, you'd better go and hide. <laughs> One moment, please, while the fairy gets herself ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Late at night, when everyone's asleep, from behind the rows and rows of books, a fairy peeps. <laughs> Webster! It wasn't me. If you listen very carefully, you'll hear the flutter of her tiny wings. <laughs> Who is making that roaring noise? <laughs> Did somebody call? Yeah, who are you roaring? <laughs> I'm being a dragon, and that's what dragons do. Yeah, but you're spoiling my game. Well, why don't you two play a game together? No. no. Anyway, dragons are more exciting than fairies. <laughs> Sorry they about this. No. You see, Jelly and Jackson are exciting no, because the children fairy. in the library were reading stories about no. magical, mythical creatures. Oh, yes. yes, like fairies. Yes, and dragons. Yes. And <laughs> unicorns. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Tell you what, my what? little furry friends. What? Why don't we make a story about mythical creatures? Oh, oh, yes, yeah. yes, but, but what uh, would we put in the machine? Uh, oh, I know. You could use my fairy crown. It's a bit scratchy. Oh, mm. thank you, my little jelly jewel. <laughs> That's very kind. A fairy crown for a fairy story into the story machine. And now we'll need some of the magical ingredient. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a playbook. Uh -huh. oh. And it's called Fairies. We've a secret in our garden that only we can see where the fairies come and play with us underneath our tree. We wear our special outfits, our skirts and delicate wings. And on our magic fingers we wear our fairy rings. And underneath the branches of our fairy tree, we have a little party and make their favourite tea. We drink from little cups with invisible straws and Mummy makes us cakes 
which we eat out of doors. We lie down on the rug, looking at the sky, and the fairies tell us stories of the world in which they fly. Then we all laugh, a fairy laugh, and we dance around the lawn, imagining it's night time, and we're dancing until dawn. We wave our fairy wands, and we sprinkle silver showers, spreading lots of sleepy dust over all the flowers. Then the fairy queen calls us, and it's time to fly away. We wish our fairy friends good night, and we'll play another day. I like being a fairy, yeah, uh, but the trouble is, uh, I'm not a proper fairy, uh, and I can't make magical things happen. Mm, but if I were a real fairy, I would magic some fairy cakes. Hmm. <gasps> oh, I, I did magic fairy cakes. I'm a real fairy, yeah. So, if I were a fairy, I would magic some fizzy fairy juice for me and Jackson and Webster. Mm. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, if I were a fairy, yeah, I would magic everything lovely in the whole wide world. Uh, Webster! <laughs> what? What are you doing there? Oh, just helping a fairy with a little bit of magic, my jelly jewel. Oh, oh you magicked all this stuff, not me. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, perhaps a cake would cheer you up. Oh, and some fizzy fairy juice. Mm? Yeah, well, yeah, I've never had fizzy fairy juice before. But what about Jackson? I can't have treats without Jackson. Look at this huge rainbow that the children made. <laughs> you know, the children were talking about leprechauns today, and I was listening. They said that leprechauns are little, green and magic. <laughs> they make shoes for fairies, <laughs> and they have pots of gold. And if you meet a leprechaun, Leprechaun, you have to stare and stare and not blink, and then the leprechaun will tell you where the gold is hid, and sometimes they hide it at the end of rainbows. <laughs> like, oh, hey, Jelly is little and green. I wonder if she's a leprechaun. Jackson, mm. Jackson, come and see. We've got a surprise for you. I magicked it myself. Well, almost. <gasps> Jelly did magic. Oh, uh, Jelly, what? you've got new shoes. Yeah, they're fairy shoes. <gasps> I made them myself. <gasps> Lepticorns make fairy shoes. Jelly is a leprechaun. Um, Jelly, Jelly, come here. Come here. Um, come here. Where's the gold? The what? I'm staring at you. Where's the gold? What gold? Where's the pot of gold? What gold? Tell me, tell me, oh, tell me, okay, tell me. Okay, Where's okay, the pot okay, of gold? Jackson, my <laughs> friend, what's going on? Well, 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 Jelly's a leprechaun because she's little and green and she makes fairy shoes. You mean a leprechaun. That's what I said. <laughs> well, I've met a few leprechauns and they don't look like Jelly one bit. Oh, well, well what do uh, leprechauns look like? Why don't we make a story about one and then you'll see. Hmm. But first, we'll need some gold. <sighs> oh, gold! There's the gold, my little mm. pink friend. Why don't you put it in the machine? Oh, thank you, Webster. <laughs> in goes the gold for a leprechaun story. I can't wait. Will you help me imagine? Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. Ah, it's a Sniff and Wag story. And it's called Sniff and Wag and the Leprechaun. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Tonight, the two friends are having a midnight feast beneath the stars. They've bought a hamper full of treats. <gasps> Look, Sniff, 
by that bush. It's the perfect spot. Sniff agrees, so they spread out the tablecloth. Now, let me see. What have we got? Stinky chicken paste, stale cakes, whiffy fish, and what's this? Oh, it's my favourite slipper. I thought we could play with it later. But as the dogs are about to tuck in, the bush behind them starts to rustle and sing. Dum diddly do diddly di diddly dee. I'm making shoes for fairy feet. Tap hammer, tap hammer, tap hammer. Hello to you. Hello, says who? The little voice shouts back. Did you see anyone? Not a soul. It's too dark. Then... With a rustle, a bustle, a swish and a swoosh, a tiny wee man pops out of the bush. His skin is crinkly, his eyes are twinkly, and he's all dressed in green. That's the funniest fellow I've ever seen. I think it's a leprechaun, said Sniff. I've always wanted to meet one. Grab him, Wag, and I'll give him a long stare. And then he'll have to share his pot of gold with us. Oh, get off me, you nasty brute, and stop staring like that. It's very rude, the leprechaun shouts. Sniff and Wag do not listen, but leprechauns are crafty and quick, and this one knows a lot of tricks. Oh, no, a vicious-looking crow. Up there, cries the leprechaun. Huh? Where? shouts Sniff and Wag. There is no crow. Ah, tricked ya. With a yap and a snap, Wag makes a grab, and Sniff starts staring again. <laughs> Oh, no! A uh, hairy, scary, hungry spider creeping, sneaking right up behind you! Where? Ah! Tricked you again! There is no spider! Oh, I'm tired and hungry, and my belly's all grumbly. I give up. Let's eat our picnic. I haven't had a bite in days. I'll swap you some gold for a bit of stale cake. Sniff and Wag agree to share their picnic feast, and the leprechaun gives them two gold coins each. Thank you, says Sniff, but now it's time to go home. Oh, thank you too, says the leprechaun. May the wind always tickle your whiskers. And he disappears. <gasps> Leprechauns are fun, yaps Wag, but now I need a little nap. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow, we will play again. I like that leprechaun. He was funny and cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he shared his gold with Sniff and Wag yeah. because they shared their picnic. Yeah. Oh. Picnic, cakes, mm. drinks. I forgot, Jackson. Come and see the surprise. <laughs> look, Jelly, look. I've painted a rainbow. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Webster. Oh, that's lovely, Jackson. Oh, thank you. Um, um, Webster, is there really a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow? Well, I've never yet been to the end of a rainbow, so I can't be sure. But I'm hoping to go there for my holidays. <laughs> and if I do, I'll send you a postcard. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, Jelly. Hi, Jackson. Hello. Hi. How are you? Here's a postcard from the end of the rainbow. It's nice here in the sky. There's a wonderful view. The weather is rainy and sunny too. There's a pot of gold. Uh, and lots of fairies. Oh, there are roaring dragons, but they're not very scary. <laughs> That's all for now. I'd better go. Love from Webster at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> I've got a, a pot of gold at the end of my rainbow. Look. <laughs> I'd love to go to the end of a rainbow. Well, mm. why don't you use Jackson's painting to take you there? <gasps> yes, yeah. good idea. Yeah. It goes to, to the end of the rainbow. Mm. Yes, well, we need lots of imaginings to make a story. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. will you help us? Please. Mm -hmm. Imagine. 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 Imagine a story! <laughs> it's a blue cow story! And it's called Blue Cow and the Unicorn! 
In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue cow was thinking about rainbows. I wonder what's at the end of the rainbow. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a rainbow, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a rainbow. There was the biggest, curviest rainbow she'd ever seen. It was so big and curvy, it seemed to disappear beyond the horizon. I wonder what's at the other end of the rainbow. I'll show you, said a voice. In front of her stood a beautiful white horse with a horn in the middle of its head. What a beautiful horse you are. A horse? I, my dear blue cow, am a unicorn. Climb on my back and I'll take you to the rainbow's end. The unicorn leapt off the ground and flew through the sky at tremendous speed. Moo! Ah, cried Blue Cow. Could you slow down a little? Certainly, dear thing. And the unicorn flew in and out of the rainbow's different colours. They rushed through the red, poured through the purple, bounded through the blue, until with a last swoop they arrived at the rainbow's end. The rainbow had become a waterfall of red, yellow, pink, blue, orange, purple and green, which tumbled into a lake of wonderful mixed-up colours. Blue Cow had never seen anything like it. I often come here when I'm feeling off colour, said the unicorn. One quick swim and I'm as right as rain. And he dived into the water. Blue Cow jumped in after him. woo <laughs> I'm not a blue cow anymore. I'm a rainbow cow, she laughed as she floated happy as a cow in a rainbow lake. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to the rainbow's end and met a unicorn. Everyone knows cows can't go to rainbows. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, Blue Cow goes everywhere and gets to meet everyone, doesn't she? Mm, I would love to meet a unicorn. Ah. <laughs> Jelly, can you magic some more fairy juice? It was delicious. Yeah, um, uh, 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 Webster? Uh, maybe another time, Jackson. Yeah. Oh. Because, look. Oh, oh, yes, the library will be opening again soon. Mm, yes, my little treasures. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh, we've made our stories, and we bid you... <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye. <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story bye makers, bye for stories now. fabulous, stories Come back and see us soon. <laughs> Bye, Storymaker. Thanks for helping. <laughs> <laughs>